Hey, what's up everyone? How's everyone doing today? Quest 76 here. Today I'm gonna be driving in Providence, the, the hoods of Providence, Rhode Island. I'm gonna take a ride down Manton Avenue, Broad Street, Elmwood Ave, and Cranston Street, and then maybe some other streets as well. And what better way to drive in the hood than in a 97 Bonneville with this. Check it out. Should know about that. My sound system, but obviously I'm not gonna play it so I don't get a copyright. So let's go. All right, so I'm gonna make a right on Manton Avenue. And this street has always been hood as long as I can remember. Check it out. And ignore those, those noises in the background you hear in my car. This is a 97, so. <laughs> But it runs good. A lot of Providence is hood, yes, but not all of Providence is hood. There are some nice areas. But for today, I'm driving through the hood. And I absolutely hate these speed bumps right here. Unnecessary. With the amount of potholes that this state is filled with, you know, no need for it. You, you couldn't go fast if you wanted to. I actually lived in Providence the entire 90s decade. And back then it was a lot worse than it is now, let me tell you. Heading towards Onlyville. A lot of people always looking at my car. I guess there's not too many Pontiac Bonnevilles around anymore. Especially mine. It's in good shape. 97, it's only got 160,000 miles on it. And it, it's the SSEI Supercharge. This place right here is absolutely busy during the summer. Very good ice cream there. <clears throat> if you're wondering why I'm not playing my music, Especially in that sound system that I just showed you is because I don't want to get a copyright. You know how YouTube is. <laughs> projects right here. Matten projects. March 2nd, 2024. Spring is around the corner. I can't wait so I can start driving, taking my slingshot out and head over to New York City, come back here. You know how I do, as you can see in my previous videos.
everyone doing today? <laughs> Let me know in the comments where you're watching this from. always so much traffic around this Olneyville section always like no matter what time what day it doesn't matter always 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 and there's always someone right there you know asking for money and stuff Only little. So right now I'm gonna head over to Cranston Street, which is definitely one of the grimiest streets in Providence. Providence is the capital of Rhode Island, the smallest state in the U.S. It's very diverse. A lot of uh, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, black, white, Asian, you name it. A lot of Italians as well in like the Federal Hill, Johnston, North Providence area. Speaking of Italians, they have the very, very good restaurants in Federal Hill. Yummy. So this right here, to my left, um, I can't remember what they're called. But those are, oh, it says it right there. Oh, that's Wigan Village. I believe they're projects, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna make a ride on Cranston Street, which, like I said, it's to me one of the grimiest streets in all of Providence. Go to this, this liquor store right here, Tropical Liquors, because they have the best prices. They've been there for years. Is the Armory? This is nothing like New York City. New York City, there's always people out. 
Providence can sometimes be a ghost town. A lot of people stay in, you know, even in the summer. But you know, obviously it's more busy in the summer. Pito's restaurant right there, been there for years as well. Dominican restaurant. Hopefully you don't hear that song in the background. I don't want to get that copyright. Hey, YouTube, it's not me playing it. It's them. here since I'm approaching the end of Cranston Street. All these side streets off Cranston Street has, I don't know, just not, try not to, you know, try not to walk around here at night. Hmm. I'm not even sure what street this is. This is, I'll let you know right now. Wadsworth Street. Hmm. That's a weird name. Wadsworth. shoes in the back you know resurface the drums brake clean everything and it's I don't know it still makes that noise let's make a left right here on Wood Avenue
Providence needs to fix these potholes. They are everywhere. Not only Providence, the entire state. New York as well, Connecticut. I don't understand why, why can't they just, you know, put nice, freshly paved roads. You know, they're, they're on our, they're on us about, you know, inspection stick and, you know, making sure that cars are safe for the road. But what about the roads? on this street real quick before I go on Broad Street. Broad Street is definitely a must if you're driving through the hood. I just want to start from the beginning. Damn. Big speed bump. Completely unnecessary. on Cranston Street real quick. I just want to make a quick, like I said, I just want to start from the beginning of Broad Street. Plus, I didn't show you this side of Cranston Street. We're approaching Central High School, Classical High School on the right. Wigan Village, down my left. So it says no right turn on red between this time, so I'm not gonna do it, even though they probably mean it on a weekday when they're school, but I'm not gonna do it anyway. Cause you see that right there on top of that traffic light camera? That's why. Providence is notorious for all those damn annoying camera lights.
there's Central High School right there on my right. Let's cut through here. Central High School, right there. Approaching Broad Street. Usually a lot of people sitting right there asking for money, but they're not. Oh, they are there. No, they're not there. <laughs> I thought they were there. That was a colorful tree or something. <laughs> So Broad Street in the summertime, it is absolutely jumping. A lot of motorcycles, people on their slingshots. A lot of people walking around. Got the food trucks out there. back in the 90s was worse than it is now. I mean, this is the suburbs compared to the way it was back then. That right there used to be a place called Tony's Market, that laundromat right there. And they used to make the best Italian grinders. They were like 18 inches long and they used to pack it. Wow, I miss, oh my God, it brings back memories. I think it was like 10 bucks, but it was huge. Wish it was still there.
plenty of barber shops if you want to get your hair cut. Plenty, plenty of Latin restaurants like right there, Carolina's family restaurant. I think it's Dominican there, I'm not really sure. Got your Barahona Express. They take you to New York from here. I think it's like 40 bucks round um, one way, if I'm not mistaken. tire shops on Broad Street. I'm sure they do a lot of business, especially with all these potholes. Motion nightclub. Now it's, oh my God, now it's called Motion Nightclub? It used to be called Lit. It used to be um, a lot of names. It used to be La Fragrancia a long time ago. It used to be El Danubio a long time ago. They're always changing the name on that place. It must have been like 20 different names in the past 20 years. So this place right here on my left, Mi Sueño, in the summertime, it's really, really busy. Food, drinks, music, the whole nine. Give me a second here. I'm just waiting for the light to turn green. There we go. There's the entrance to Roger Williams Park. See, that's the thing I hate about camera lights. Like, like I don't know, it's just, they, they, they turn red right in front of you. And it's like, it, should I stop? If I stop, it's gonna be a hard stop. You know, it's, it's like in, in the heat of the moment. What should I do? Should I stop or should I go quick? So I'm probably gonna get a ticket in the mail. Whatever. I'll just pay it really quick and move forward I guess but it is annoying though very annoying why don't they take pictures of these damn potholes and do something about that see there are way too many cameras oh my god annoying this area of Broad Street there's a lot of Dominicans Puerto Ricans Some Asian, some black, not many whites around here. Not 
95. I don't know if you can see that. Right now I'm gonna make a ride on Prairie Avenue, which is another kind of, well, no, it is a hood. change the name from Ocean State to the Pothole State. I think that's what they should do. Anybody know who I need to talk to to change the name from the Ocean State to the Pothole State? Let's make a left right here. Lock, 
the street. people ask me what does 76 mean in my name you know my first name Quez 76 is just basically the year I was born video shortly because I'm starting to get a little hungry. Those who are watching my video right now, if you want to subscribe, subscribe because I try to do as many videos as I can when I have the time. I try to go to other states as much as well as obviously home in New York City. Rhode Island, I always come up here because I have a daughter that lives up here, Ariana. My other daughter, Alexis, lives in San Diego. So I try to do as many videos as I can when I have the time. Mostly travel videos, walking videos, you know? Station, Providence Police. Some of them. Uh, let, me, let me just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> just put it this way: some, some. I didn't say all. Some don't need to be walking, you know, wearing a badge and carrying a gun. Some have a very serious ego problem. Y'all know who you are. people so I think I'm gonna end the video over here I just did a quick driving around the hoods of Providence I probably didn't show you all the hoods but like the basics Cranston Street, Matten Ave, Broad Street, a little bit of Elmwood, Prairie Ave right now I'm a little hungry I'm over here approaching Federal Hill I'm gonna stop get something to eat subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting videos driving around and cities walking around and stuff like that Ooh, you hear that that was the exhaust hitting that big speed bump so in that case i'll see y'all soon peace